Good morning everyone. Uh, this week we already saw the Dripping Jewels uh, um, Lip Sense collection first impression and today we are going to do uh, the Dripping Jewels Shadow Sense uh, first look. Uh, here again we have three different uh, shades. The, uh, let me show you what it is. So the collection has three different shades. One uh, matte shade and two shimmer shades. Uh, this is Copper Rose which is the uh, returning shade. Uh, returning shade means it's already um, released sometime back and uh, it got sold out. So uh, that's uh, one color. Uh, this is my first time also. And then we have uh, Pink Ruby Shimmer which is like, um, uh, I would say it's close to uh, Bandana Shimmer if you have seen. And the last one is Purple, purple Sapphire Shimmer. So um, even though they both are uh, shimmers, they give that uh, um, how Desert Rose gives like metallic look they are not uh, uh, shimmery so here you can see the swatches so this is copper rose um, the next one is the uh, pink ruby shimmer and the last one is purple sapphire shimmer so you can see they have like a metallic tint but that they are not like a super glittery or something so that way it is easy to blend with uh, so today i'm going to create a very simple eye look with uh, these two shades so let's go ahead and do it and when you buy as a collection you get this uh, pink bag it's very very metallic uh, if you have uh, what is it like little girls they will really really love this kind of bag so this came with the lip sense collection too and uh, the same bag comes with the shadow sense collection so what we are going to do is we are going to add a pink ruby shimmer in the crease uh, so you all know I have a Huda dye. So if you have a Huda dye like me, a Huda dye means uh, if you see the lid space is very small. So my actual crease is here. So what you do is you um, look straight and keep a dot here. That way you know uh, that's going to be your false crease. You can see how uh, what is it, like my real crease is down right here. So if I do it here and lift my eyes, you won't see the color. So that's why we keep the dot there. And then now you know it. So I'm going to keep the color a little bit and I'm just going to start blending it. Anytime when you add a crease color, um, that is going to uh, give like a false crease and uh, um, this will make your eyes look little bigger. And when you are blending the shade, always hold it in the end. That way you don't put too much pressure on it. And just do, do like a wiping motion. Like you can either do uh, like a circ small circles or just like a windshield wiper motion. That way the color gets blended well in the crease. And you can see, I think um, now that I'm practicing more and more, you see I have stopped it right there. But if you are a beginner, there used to be tapes that you can um, stick it here, even a normal cellophane tape or something. That way you will have like a tapered uh, look or you can always go back with your, uh, uh, here I have used natural tan as my um, base. You can always go back with the same brush and just clean it up whatever you went extra. So that will give like a clean look. So here I'm going to add one more layer of it to make the color a little more. And whenever you are adding the color, just first pat it a little bit so that you will get the pigment and then we'll blend it across. So when I pat, you will see the color pays out a little bit more and then give it a few seconds and just blend it. And uh, once you blend it a little bit, take the brush that you have used the um, for natural tan and just blend the corners that way your corner shouldn't be like a harsh line so that helps for that so that will be your crease color so i'm going to take the same color uh, for my lower lashes too so this is my favorite brush for my lower lashes i just take it from here you don't need a lot you just take it and always run it on the lower lashes too that way your eye look will always feel connected. It, uh, it finishes the eye look rather than just doing on the top. So let's take the purple sapphire shimmer. This is going to be our all over lid shade. So I'm just going to start layering a little bit and blend it and to see how it pays out and then we can add more. 
so it's a very simple eye look it's as i said it's just going to be with this two colors um even if you are a beginner you can try these kind of shades because it will be easy to blend any two colors like whether um for example i always show um like a pink with a brown um uh, pink with black something like that whichever you feel comfortable you can see it's already uh what's it like a blended well you always make sure you pat it and if you want the color to pay out well that means you pat the color by pressing it and just blend the corners alone um, you can always go back with the brush that you used the uh, pink ruby shimmer or the crease color one and you blend where the two colors meet that way it, it doesn't have to um, feel uh, too different they have to feel seamlessly as one shade so that's what is the aim so this is very light one layer of it if you want the color to show up more you are going to add more layer. so i'm going to go over with the one more layer of it as i said even though it's a, a shimmer shade uh, it is i feel like it's close to more of a um, desert rose consistency where you have like a, a pearly finish rather than just like a um, shimmery or glittery finish actually so those colors will be easy to work with and uh, um, they blend so well actually the key to any eye look is uh, how much you are blending that's the key uh, that way it doesn't look any streaky or um, what's it like uh, uh, it uh, it doesn't feel like um, you have used uh, plenty of colors even if you use 10 different colors it all has to be seamlessly look like one eye look that is the aim so in that case you keep blending like uh, um, any makeup uh, class or any makeup videos you watch they will always say you blend until your hand hurts that's how much you are going to blend uh, for the colors to look even they both are really really pretty shades and they can work individually all three shades in this uh, um, collection can be worn as the individual color you don't have to have two or three shades for example i can just wear this uh, purple as a all over lid shade and i don't have to have anything and same way uh, the pink will work really well as an individual shade too so um, this is uh, what is it like this is a color that can uh, show up really on uh, um, our skin tone and also it uh, works really well so the same way how we did uh, um, the pink ruby on bottom we are now going to do the uh, purple shimmer on the lower lids too you don't have to add a lot just uh, one layer of uh, the color should be fine to just blend it both of them so the eye look is pretty much done i'm going to just uh, do my mascara and show you how it looks on the finished look so that's the finished look uh, it's just two shades uh, from the dripping jewel collection i hope you liked it uh, if you recreate always do uh, share with us uh, we would like to see and uh, um, anytime this is just a concept i would like to show because uh, um, you can pick any shades if you are uh, into shimmers you can always pick two shimmers or if you are a matte person you can pick two matte colors like americano and french road something like that you can always pick one crease color and one all over lid shade and uh, um, these shades can work by itself and uh, you can always uh, wear them on your lips too so uh, the shadow sense you can use it in multiple ways so, and uh, it's cream to powder and it's all day wear so that way once it's set it's not going to come out at all so uh, you don't have to worry about uh, it's um, uh, going out or anything and uh, it comes with anti-aging benefits too so it's like um, all of our makeup has some skincare benefits in it so uh, it is going to help you while you wear it so that's it hope you have a wonderful day see you all soon